stranger, there. Squad Conquest is finally back. Just started playing it yesterday. Played a shit ton of matches, all recorded with commentary. Now I could lie to you and tell you this was my first match. Like these fucking losers on grief. Uh, this was my first game of the day. I got a 10 piece. I'm just warming up. But uh, no, this was my second game. My first game I actually rage quit because I died to five support gun floppers in a row. Like instant one bullet death style from fucking bipod trash. But I found a new lobby and made some magic happen. My aim right now is horrific. The only game I've played in three weeks is Division 2, so the sensitivity on an FPS, it just feels so weird. I've got no feel for it, but it's coming back. Got a five piece down a hallway, which is the highlight of this game. And then like fucking 10 seconds later, this guy gets a lucky MP40 headshot on me. Should have got him too. So my thoughts on all the great changes to Squad Conquest, all the new maps they added. No, oh, that's right. They didn't change a fucking thing. All of this talk by the community manager, oh, we had to take it down. We had to take Squad Conquest down. We had to do that for a while to look at all the data and analyze it so we could make changes and build new maps for it. First off, that's bullshit. Because you don't need to do that for any other mode. I mean, can you imagine them taking down regular Conquest or any other core game type every time they want to make a change or add a map? That's totally absurd. No game, including this one, works like that. And secondly, you didn't fucking add anything anyways. They literally just brought it back, exact same three maps, zero changes. It was removed for two months without a single change to show for it. I'm still glad it's back, obviously, but it never should have been removed in the first place. It's just cut and paste the same as before, not even one new map added. Now, for my personal preference, I'm okay with just these three maps in rotation. I'm gonna go against the grain. Everyone's complaining, you know, there's not enough maps in this game. But I think back to Call of Duty 3, 12 years later, I'm still happy to keep playing Eater Dam. That one map I could play for another 12 years. Or I could go back even further, Unreal Tournament 99, I could still play Lava Giant 20 years later. I think it's more a sign of the times that classic map design doesn't exist anymore. It's a quantity over quality approach now. You know, just keep giving us new ones, because these are boring already. But for me, I can stick to a map for years if it's good and the gameplay inside of it is good. You've probably noticed the past, what, five Call of Duty games? It's just generic throwaway maps. There are no more all-time classic maps that are going to be remembered for years. And they know this because they launched Black Ops 4 with almost all remastered classic maps. Barely any new ones. They just gave up on making new maps because they don't have that ability to make experiences that stand the test of time anymore. So for me, I don't need a game to have 30 generic, destroyed city maps. Give me 4 or 5 all-time classic maps, and I'm set for years if your game has the gameplay to match it. I mean, as you can probably tell from these videos on our channel, I'm not really a person of change. I can stick with the same game for like a decade, no sweat. So only three maps in Squad Conquest, that's fine with me, because all three maps provide a pretty good experience. But yes, I would like to see a few more, because these maps in Battlefield are absolutely not all-time classics. Not one of these maps, outside of maybe a RAS, will be thought about two years from now, let alone five or six.